when you were transitioning after your five years in the Marine Corps, what did you and your experience think it was going to be like? And then what did you realize that it was really like once you started that transition period? Oh, what's the best, what's the best way to say this? Um, you know, I always told my family this story. They always ask me this question, you know, what's, what was harder going in or getting out and going in is 10 times easier than getting out is. And the reason I say that it's like, it's like you get married going in and then you get out and you're in an, you're in an arranged marriage where you have these two people, you have who you were and who you are now, and you have to figure it out all at once kind of thing when you get out. Right. Um, you know, you know how it is in the military, man, you did 11 years, you did, you did another enlistment more than I did. And, you know, once you kind of let them know you're done, you know, you're kind of on that pathway and they kind of wipe your hands to a certain degree, right? They, they point you in the direction of where you're supposed to go, but there's not really anybody to walk you through anything that's going on. Right. Oh, go to this link, go look at this, go do this. You got to go. I mean, it's, it's usually a lot more in depth that it's, you know, one conversation that leads to 20 something conversations to get the answer you need. Right. Uh, you know, maybe it's the VA, whatever the case may be, right. There's all these programs that are out there that they kind of throw at you at once, but you know, they kind of wipe your hands with you once you go down that path. Um, you know, I, I very much felt that way when I told them, you know, I was done, you know, they, they, they were you know, throwing you all kinds of money to try to stay when you do it. But the second you let them know, no, money's not the problem. It's, you know, what I want to do with my time. And, you know, once you kind of let them know that they, they're like, oh, well, he's getting out. We're, you're out of the brotherhood, quote unquote. You're not out of the brotherhood, but you kind of get what I'm saying. Like the mentality when you get out is, you know, you're not, you're not useful. I don't, I don't want to say that like you're not useful, but you are. I think you get what I'm saying when I say that. It's, yeah. it's hard to describe that piece of it. But, um, you know, that being said, I, I was a lot different than a lot of people. I don't know if you remember when I was getting out, but I had a very good plan, so to speak. I, I used the military as a, a stepping stone, as I knew it would be for me, right. Um, to transition into college for myself. So like I got out on the early out release, it didn't really get me out any earlier. I got out like maybe a week or two earlier, but the fact that, you know, I put in for the stuff and went through that whole process, you know, i I made it very clear. Like I was enrolled in college. I mean, I had my books and everything paid for, signed up for, you know, the basic VA education stuff before I even, you know, was on terminal leave. So, you know, stuff like that, having a plan is like one of those things that really kind of helped me, so to speak. Yeah, I think um, just to hit on two of the things you touched on, how they put you to the side, I, I would say like they kind of take you out of the big picture planning, right? Because they know you're no longer going to be there. So you're not going to be a, a useful resource for them long term. You still can be there to like manage the day to day activities and, you know, manage the troops and get some maintenance done. But big picture, if they're planning for deployments, they're, they're not counting on you anymore. So it can feel like you're pushed to the side. And you, you're, yeah, you're right. You're not out of the brotherhood. We're never out of the brotherhood. But you're out of that inner circle of like the core of the squadron of who's putting the, the missions together and putting the planning together. And um, it can feel like you're ostracized. I think that's the way you say it. Like you're just left out. Um, and you're out in the wind just trying to figure it out on your own. Myself, I had the luxury of being a staff NCO. So my last year when I had told them I was getting out, um, I got to do the planning like you were talking about. You know, you talk about setting up a plan. I feel that so many veterans work until the day they're out, like these, these E4s, E3s who don't have the luxury of uh, – voicing their opinion and being heard like they're being ran to the end and they're not able to get the time to do their medical they need to do or to plan for school and how they're going to use their GI Bill. So I'm happy you had a plan. I'm happy you're talking because you're going to tell people the importance of planning when you're getting out and not just hoping for the best.